are chess computers any good? If you'd asked me that ten years ago, I would certainly give you a different answer to the one I can give today. Then there were only two or three machines around and they were lucky to get 1500 ELO points and that with a following wind. But then in 1985 and 1986 we began to hear from Novag and Fidelity and the SciTech Kasparov company that they'd got two or three good programs that were getting close to 2000 ELO and they were entered into human tournaments and uh, got good results. I know that not everybody agrees with chess computers in human tournaments, but it's the only way to establish a realistic grading. And uh, in the last few months, we've seen computers getting 2400 ELO, and in Blitz chess, 2500 ELO in proper tournaments such as the Rubinstein Memorial Tournament in Poland. We've also, as you can see, got a wide variety and choice of chess computers available now. <laughs> There are four different types of computer. Firstly, you have the true portable. This one is a plug-in set, and you would gently press the piece in the square that it's leaving, the square that it's going to, and the coordinate lights would come on to show you what the computer's reply was. Another portable that we have here is like a pocket calculator. Here you would type in E2, E4, and you could either make the move on the board which is supplied with it as a magnetic disc set, or if you've got a bigger wooden board at home that you wanted to use, simply transfer the move to that. The computer will show in algebraic notation its own reply, and you carry on playing through the game in that way. Then you come to press sensory machines. I've got the new Caspar of RISC 2500 here. And with a press sensory machine, you simply press the piece or the pawn, in this case, gently on the square that it's leaving, gently on the square that it's going to. And if it's Alakine's defense, G8 F6 will come on in the display. The LEDs will come on. You press G8, you press F6, and it's your turn to move. Then you have the auto-sensory wooden boards, which are beautiful to look at. This one is a Mephisto with the Vancouver program in, and this is the Kasparov Renaissance machine. Here you don't have to press anything. You simply lift the pawn up, put it on the square that you want it to go to, and the computer will light the square up for its own reply. So perhaps it would be E5. You simply put the piece there and make the moves in that way. In the last uh, couple of years, there have been some good software programs for personal computers. You can use them in a desktop computer or something like this, which is a 386 laptop. And uh, obviously, you use a mouse or, or key in the moves according to what your own preferences are. But there are three or four very good programs now available for laptop and desktop personal computers. <laughs> Chess computers are used by all sorts of different people. For the beginner or novice, there are machines which have special training manuals. They give you advice on the openings, advice on middle game and end game tactics, and they're designed along with playing against the chess computer to get you out of the hobby level so that you're playing a decent game of chess. The stronger machines can be used by club and county players simply to play against or you can practice opening variations on them and see if the computer can come up with some problem that you'd not thought about. They're valuable for testing difficult positions. We know of one or two people using them for adjournment analysis, and whilst I probably shouldn't say it, we also know of one or two being used in correspondence chess. People say, well, perhaps they're too advanced for me, but in the stronger machines, I'm glad to say they've started to put easy levels so that nobody has to lose all the time. How accurate are the gradings given to chess computers? I suppose that depends on who gives them. That's one reason why we produce the computer chess news sheet every other month. And on the back page, we have a full listing of the gradings for all of the dedicated chess computers, as well as the programs which go into personal computers. I think it's inevitable that manufacturers will sometimes get over-optimistic about their own particular machine. And it's important for anybody who's a club or a county player to be absolutely sure that the machine he's buying or thinking of buying can achieve the grading that he needs to help him practice, to analyse, to do his opening book preparation and to really help him improve. We, in fact, 
not only have quite a few people who play computers versus computers because they own two or three different programs, they send the results in to me and we collate them for the rating list, but of course very important are the results which the computers get in proper human tournaments. And these are carefully aligned with the computer v computer results so that we produce a finished list which hopefully neither exaggerates the ratings nor undervalues the benefits of the machine. Hopefully anybody who buys a chess computer on the basis of a rating given in here will not be disappointed with what he gets. Your choice will really depend on what you're looking for. If you want something to play on the train or in the office just using battery